Hey everyone, in today's quick Photoshop video, I'm gonna show you how to create a text outline around your text. It's a really great way to make your text really pop out of the screen. I use it for YouTube thumbnails, for example, all the time. Let's jump in. As usual, I have a link to a free trial of Photoshop if you don't have the latest Photoshop to follow along with me so you could download and follow along there. So here I am just on Photoshop. All I've done so far is I've created a rectangle as a shape tool and I just kind of grabbed it and dragged to the corner just to create a shape. Let me just delete this one just so you could start with the same page that I'm on. Then for the text outline, you go to the text tool here or the shortcut for that is T and I'm gonna click right here and type my text. So text outline is my text and if you select your text over here, you have all your text options on top. So if you're new to creating text, here's your font. So you could go ahead and choose a font that you like. I like this font, usually it's nice and bold. You could go ahead and change your font style. If there is styles here, change the font size here, and then you could go ahead and center the fonts. And then when you're happy, you could press the check mark. And then I'm gonna go back to the move tool over here. The keyboard shortcut for that is V. And I'm gonna go ahead and center my font. Let's say I want my font over here. Now, let me actually double click. I forgot to change the color. That's over here. This box, click this, and I'm gonna go to this corner and make this white. Press the check mark. Now, to create an outline, you do have a few options. I wanna show you my favorite and the easiest. And that's this thing called layer style. So with the text layer here, if you look on this side, you have your text layer that you just made. If you double click on this blank section, it's gonna create this box right here called layer style. It's gonna open this up. And under layer style, if you check on stroke right here, if you check this on, so click right here to make sure this is selected, it creates an outline for you where you have a lot of options with how that looks. So the first is size. So if I go to zero or one, it's very, very tiny. And as I increase it, it just creates a bigger outline for me. You see that outline around my text? Now you could change the position of it. It could be on the outside or the inside or in the center. So that's gonna change how it's gonna look. So I'll leave it on the center here. And then again, I could increase it here if I want. Actually, let me go back to the outside. That probably gave me the best result. I'm at 10 points here on mine. Then you could change the opacity. So you could have it be really soft or at 100% very prominent. You could change the color of that outline. So instead of black, I could make it white or red or really any color here that you want to make it. In this case, black probably looked best, so I'll leave it there. And you could change the fill type. So instead of a solid color, it could be a gradient color. Okay, so if I click this gradient box, I could select from some of these gradients. Let me look at grays here. Let's do something like this. So you could see how the outline could be completely different and not just a solid color. So this looks pretty interesting here. And if you change your mind, you could always go ahead and turn this off and turn it back on just to preview a before and after. So I'll go back to solid color. So this is before, this is after I applied my text gradients. I could always change my mind on this. And when I'm happy, I could press OK. And there it is. It's over here as a layer style, so I could always turn it off with this eyeball over here as well. And last thing I wanted to show you, you could do this with people too. So here is just a photo of me. Let me go ahead and turn the other one off. And with a photo, I could double click and apply that same stroke and it will create, create that outline. And same thing, if I go to it, I could select this to be white, for example. But that's how you create outlines for text or really anything inside of Photoshop. I hope you found it useful. Please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.